Monday, quick take, and the weather outside is incredible. It's amazing how quickly summer has come upon us. But there's something that maybe isn't quite so bright that we do need to talk about. And no, I'm not fudding. I'm just talking about stuff that is out there that needs to be discussed. So here we go. Now, Polygon, formerly known as Matic, has had quite a year, a peak of $7.5 billion in TVR, which, despite the recent drops, is still sitting at $6.87 billion, which is very, very impressive. And the Matic token itself has posted possibly the fastest recovery of any token in the top 50 after the big drops, thanks in no small part to the announcement that Mark Cuban is now an investor. There are many, many layer two solutions out there, but right now Polygon is the one that is getting all of the attention, but not all of it is positive. If you dig into Matic's documentation, you will find a section there on multi-sigs. The permissions for these wallets grant essential rights to the signatories to make changes to the protocols, such as update staking contracts for staking optimizations, features and upgradations, and be able to fix unexpected and unforeseen bugs on the POS Plasma contracts. Now, it's important to remember that the contracts where stakers commit their Matic tokens are responsible for the security of the chain and the funds locked in the POS bridge. And if you've seen our videos on Matic and Polygon in recent weeks, you'll know that that plays a big part in getting funds from ETH all the way over to Polygon. Now, this particular wallet was in fact originally a two of three Gnosis multi-sig, meaning the laws governing tokens staked on Polygon, which now total over $2.9 billion, were at the mercy of just two people. And this was brought loudly into public view by Chris Black of DeFi Watch, who's one of Twitter's contrarian voices, highlighting ugly truths when he finds them. Now, he does it often quite loudly, but no matter the methods, and I am definitely not fudding here, okay? This was clearly a huge centralization vector. Now the multi-sig has now been upgraded to a five of eight scheme on Gnosis with four of the signers being Polygon co-founders and the other four prominent members of other Polygon DeFi projects. But it's still only five out of eight. So Chris has now written two public letters to Jane T. Kanani of Polygon, which I'll link to in the description below. And Polygon have always presented themselves well and there is no suspicion that they might. And you see, there I have to stop myself because I'm making assumptions about human beings. And that's how easy it is. Don't trust, verify. There is many a well-meaning soul that was drawn to a dark path and human beings are what they are. And that is no accusation on Matic, Polygon, any of the team, it's just a fact of life. So I think it's right that we talk openly about this. And again, this is not FUD, it's development. It's a necessary phase in the growth of a project that has grown at extraordinary speed. Now, there is one last thing that we can look at. We can probably also be critical of the current weight of Binance in the Matic staking pool. And when I looked this morning, around 32% of all the Matic staked has been delegated to a node run by Binance. 32%, that's pretty much a third. And that is, at the moment, 508,200,537 Matic of a total 1.5 billion or so, or around, yeah, $950 million. $950 million locked up in that Binance staking pool. Now again, I am not butthurt because I didn't buy Matic. I'm not trying to FUD to buy cheaper. These are legitimate concerns. It's legitimate dialogue. And that's it. I will see you on the next one.